Okay. <laughs> the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has made a landmark judgment ordering the previous administration of former President Olusegun Obasanjo, former President Let Omara Musa Yaradua, former President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, and former President, I like using former for this man, the man who just left the Asorok, former President Muhammad Buhari, that they should come and give account on how they spent the five billion dollars loot stolen Sani Abacha. <laughs> it's a good thing. I appreciate that. But listen, Federal High Court, we appreciate what you people are doing. It's a good thing. But the timing is wrong. The timing is wrong. This can be seen as a distraction. It can be seen as doing good thing for a bad reason. We have a case in court, a linchpin case, and that is the tribunal. Because the future of this country is tied with that case. We cannot let any other case in the country to surpass what we have in the tribunal. No. I know that Justin James Kolowale arrived at that judgment following the Freedom of Information lawsuit that was brought by Social Economic Right Accountability Project. What Social Economic Right Accountability Project did is right. But please, not now. Because the reason is this. We are used to seeing things in this country where they bring other things to distract us from not focusing on the main thing on ground. No. We must let every case stand by until we are done proving the originality and authenticity of this current administration. Because this current administration does not have the moral standard and the moral backing to bring anybody to book. It can't bring anybody to book. The tribunal must facilitate the court process, the court proceedings of authenticity, the originality of this current administration. They don't have the moral standard to, 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 to bring anybody to book for corruption because the election that brought them in is still allegedly rigged. Even nature is supporting what I'm saying. You get it? So please, we are used to seeing a government where they sponsor things to distract us from what is on ground. They bring Big Brother Niger, they bring, they bring in every other sort of things. We are not interested now with Abacha looting. We will come to that later on. But let us finish with the tribunal. We will not be distracted. Because this can be seen as a Machiavellian manipulation to get our attention and hook off the tribunal, which we will not take. Okay? We will come for the, for the previous administrations. They will give us account. They will give us account. But please, let us finish with the tribunal. We must finish with them. Only then, if this current administration is proven, okay, beyond every reasonable doubt that the election was not rigged, only then that they can have the right to bring anybody to book. But for now, they don't have the moral standard to bring anybody to book because he who goes to equity must go with clean hands and he who seek equity must do equity. Okay, from 1999 to now, you people did not know that you will ask them of how they spent Abacha's routine. It is now that we have something important to do? No. You can be doing good things for a bad reason. No. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo is not running away. Okay? Good luck, Ebele Jonathan. It's not running away. Buhari is not running away. Even if he does, we know his house in Daura. And I wonder who will give that account for let Omar Musa Yara do You guys should let that man rest in peace. And I think the people that ran the administration with him will come and give account when the time comes. But now is the time for tribunal. No court sitting should surpass that court case in this country because the future of this country is tied to that case. All right. When fighting a monster, Never you forget not to turn into a monster because the danger of criticizing and fighting evil is that you are likely to become that which you criticize and fight against. So please, 
let every attention be focused on the tribunal nothing is distracting us not even the premier league that will start in august nothing is distracting us we are focusing on the tribunal we cannot put two hands in the mouth at the same time no one step or the other federal high court we appreciate it but please let us finish with the tribunal first you cannot put two hands in the mouth at the same time this is the time for us to construct bridges not to build dams for wisdom is the principal thing